Operation of Error Flash. Setup. After unpacking, place the instrument on a stable bench top. Make sure that the vent holes of the analyzer are not obstructed. The analyzer requires an environment with ambient room temperature in the range from 10 to 45 degrees Celsius. Please verify that the delivery is complete and carefully read the instruction manual. Turn the instrument and connect the power cable to the plug on the rear side of the instrument. The AC input voltage can be anywhere between 85 and 264 volts. If the instrument is used in mobile laboratories or in the field, it can also be operated at 12 volts DC using a DC-AC converter. For data transfer or remote control, the unit can be connected to a network by the Ethernet interface or directly to a computer or printer using the USB ports. For measurements below zero degrees Celsius, connect the error flash to an external cooling device. The upper connector is for coolant out and the lower connector for coolant in. Switch on the analyzer by pushing the power button on the front. After a few seconds, the instrument is ready for use. Measurement. Select one of the standard methods listed in the first drop-down list. Error flash strictly follows the latest ASTM flashpoint methods, ASTM D6450 and ASTM D7094. Additionally, the analyzer offers several pre-programmed correlation methods to provide results in excellent correlation with the traditional closed cut methods such as ASTM D56 TAG and ASTM D93 Penske Martins, as well as with flash, no flash methods. A measuring profile allows the pre-selection of the sample IDs and the suitable measuring range. Detailed programming of the profile can be done in the settings menu. Enter the sample ID and the operator on the pop-up keyboard, or select them from the drop-down list of previously entered names. If the preset expected flashpoint does not fit the test at hand, it can be adjusted as needed. There are two different sample cups delivered with the error flash. A one milliliter sample cup for ASTM D6450 measurements and a two milliliter sample cup for ASTM D7094 measurements and for all correlation methods. Put the respective sample cup into the insulated sample cup holder. With a pipette, fill the sample cup to the mark. Last, add the stirring magnet. Open the front door to place the sample cup inside the instrument. Close the door and press run. The test measurement starts by lifting the sample cup to create a continuously closed chamber. Its unique design makes the error flash the safest flashpoint tester available because there are no open flames or glowing wires at all during the measurement. The complete measurement is fully automated and only takes a few minutes. During the measurement, you can click on the pressure gauge to view the combustion analysis graphics. This is especially interesting for R&D applications and makes it easy to analyze demanding samples that contain only small amounts of flammable compounds. When the test is finished, the result is displayed and the sample cup is lowered back to its starting position. Cleaning. After high temperature measurements, cool the sample cup with the optional cooling block. Take out the stirring magnet. Empty the cup and clean it with a tissue. If necessary, use the special cleaning tools to clean and dry the oven. Use the sweepers to dry the electrodes and the oven surface. 
If there is some solid residue remaining on the electrodes, brush them with the brass eraser. Now the instrument is ready for the next test. Result handling. In the result menu, several thousand results can be stored and reviewed. Simply go to the result menu. Each line displays a result. Using the settings button, you can select specific parameters you need to be shown in the result menu. Browse through the result memory using the cursor keys at the bottom of the list. To view the pressure development graphic of an older measurement, press the box to the left of the desired result. The data can also be printed on a directly connected printer or via Ethernet connection to a LAN or network printer. A file containing all results can be stored on a USB flash drive for storage on a PC or a review in MS Excel. A very convenient alternative is the automatic transfer of the data to a LIM system. There is no software required. Just connect the instrument to the local area network via the built-in Ethernet connection and define the folder and file name where the results shall be stored. Please make sure to carefully read the instruction manual before you start with the first measurements. The manual is available as PDF file on the delivered USB flash drive. Additionally, you will find a one-page laminated short instruction inside the accessories box. If there are still questions remaining, please contact our well-trained local representatives or contact us directly via our website at aerolytics.com.